Hey everyone and welcome back and we're going to give you a little quick hack video dealing with uh, DNS and name servers and stuff. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have this issue. So let's uh, go ahead and take a look at this real quick and show what I'm talking about. Um, if you've ever been with name servers like cPanel or something like that and you're dealing with bind, um, you probably have seen this a lot. Uh, basically you're getting these query cache comes in. Uh, and they just flood your logs like crazy, especially if you're like us and you've got like, you know, a ton and a ton of sites on these name servers. You're just going to get a lot, a lot of traffic and you're going to get a lot of these um, query caches coming in. And, um, this is actually a good thing. Um, if you're seeing this, this is good because you don't want them to be touching your DNS service. You know, you got it set up right. Um, there's actually two different ways we can go about this. Uh, one, if you've got CSF LFD installed, you can use the LF bind option here. Um, this one will actually scan the file, and if it finds an IP that hits, say, 100, you know, so you know, if we make this like 100, it's 100 time, we could per permanently ban it, or you could just do a temporary ban or something like that, and it'll take care of it or just block it so it's not going to hit the server. Uh, this is probably the one of the best ways if you don't want the IPs hitting you, you don't want that traffic, you don't want that. Uh, it's actually good. Um, that's the one way to do it. That if you want to actually do it, probably the most secure way. Uh, the other way you could do it is you could actually go into the name dot config file, and under logging, you would add the category security null. Now, the problem with this one is you won't be blocking IPs, but you also will not be getting any type of logging from the security type. So, uh, if you don't mind that, you can go that. I mean, you can go either way. Um, I give you both options, depending on how you want to do it on your circumstance. And the problem is, I personally am against not logging stuff. I mean, I want to see everything in the logs. So I personally am probably more going at the IP one, you know, assuming that the IPs are hitting me are probably just, you know, hacked servers or something like that. And it's not going to be like, you know, going to give issues with um, possible clients coming in. So I mean, so you really got to weigh both options. I mean, you can go either way or you can just like continue to flood your log files, which is actually kind of annoying. So I mean, you can try both ways, but for those of you who have been asking and searching, trying to find why that's happening and how to do it, well, there's your answer, and this how you can actually prevent it. So that is your quick hack for the day, and don't forget, subscribe, like us, follow us. You know, we've got more stuff coming.